Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode 16 of the RPOs. And Bart Man is going to be our co host of the week. Last week, Bart just kept getting mentioned in one way or another so i thought he would make a great co-host for this week and now we get to the picks of the last pack kendall graveman got a shout out from bum luck collector future white Sox setup man indeed that may be the case scope there it is got a shout out from lisa z Freedom Sufferer cards going with Rowdy wearing the blue and white for the win. And another shout out from Big Chief Sports Cards who says he's got a lot of power and with regular playing time he could hit at least 30 homers in a season. He got 11 last year. This year he's projected for like 20, 23 homers. Maybe this year is his breakout year. Francisco Lindor. And Cabrian Hayes, I counted four votes apiece. So we're going to make them the co-picks of the pack right there. Let me get them in frame. I think I could do better than that. Give me a moment. There we go. Co-picks of the last pack. Let's grab this die right here. We'll draw, oh, one popped out. <laughs> one got put back in. Shake it up. And it's going to be a two, which means Stadium Club. Is today a good day? Let's see. And that's going to be a three. That's all right. We still get to pull Stadium Club. Let me dive into the comments really quick. A mess of things says, somebody get this man a kazoo. Hey, I used to really love your old intro. That was cool. Something like that, right? Lisa Z asks, how do you know so much about every player? I mean, you know, ERAs of pitchers and things like that. Well, here's the thing. I don't remember everything. There are some things I do remember. There are some stories that I remember. But like I said, I get to research when I pull these cards and when I'm uploading the videos and such. So when I'm looking at the cards and recording the audio, I get a chance to look up the stats and see what they did in any given year at any given time. And then I get to share that information with all of you. This is how come it's not just about the hits for me. I love the base cards. I think they have great photos as well. And then being able to do the research gives me the a thousand words to go with that picture. Now, if you ask me Fernando Valenzuela in 1981, I'm going to tell you off the top of my head. First eight games, eight starts, eight complete games, five shutouts, 0 0.5 ERA. Those numbers just work together so well and they stick in my head and I really like the player so that's how that works first card is Drew Rasmussen he went to Oregon State University and as a beaver in 2015 pitched the only perfect game in the team's history against Washington State in 2021, he was traded from Milwaukee to Tampa Bay, and that's where he'll make his stand next year. Or I should say this year. Freddie Freeman, I know you know about this guy. Right now, rumors are swirling around. Is he going to go to the Yankees? Is he going to go to my Dodgers? Braves fans are currently shouting, No! We'll see. Jesus Aguilar. This guy played with Cleveland, Milwaukee, Tampa, and now he's with Miami. Last year he hit 93 RBIs, but that was the only stat category good enough for a first baseman in fantasy baseball. So be aware of that if you play. Kyle Lewis. That is a fantastic photo. Look at that. He was the 2020 Rookie of the Year in the American League, but only got to play till June 1st last year. Injury. I hope he gets a healthy season, and let's see what he can really do. Mark Kana, about to make a play right there in that nice photo. Also played ball for my California Golden Bears. Go Bears, decent counting stats last year. 
including 17 home runs and 12 stolen bases. That's pretty good. Just signed with the Mets. Two years, $26.5 million. Good for him. Aaron Nola in the virtual reality. Here's a fun stat. On June 25th, 2021, this guy struck out 10 consecutive batters in a game against the Mets. That tied an MLB record set by Tom Seaver in 1970 and Corbin Burns, who did it later that year on August 12th against the Cubs. Wow. Hall of Famer Roberto Alomar. This guy has a collection of jerseys, but his number 12 has been retired by the Toronto Blue Jays. He's also in the Baltimore Orioles Hall of Fame. Four silver sluggers, 10 golden gloves, 12 all-star appearances, American League Championship Series MVP in 92, and two championship rings in 92 and 93 with the Blue Jays. Very nice indeed. And we'll close it off with Cody Bellinger making that great catch right there. So here's the thing. He's lost his swing a little bit. It drives Dodger fans a little crazy. But he's finding it again. And you can't argue with his... Or Ugh. You can't argue with his accomplishments. Rookie of the Year, Championship Series MVP, National League MVP, and of course... World Series champion. I got faith in this guy. When he gets a haircut, he does all right. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Which one is going to be your pick of the pack? I got a couple of ones that I'm looking at. But while I'm looking at them, let me just give a huge shout out to Flying Dutchman Cards and Don't Talk to Robots, who had a great live stream this past Sunday. Oof, I forget the days. I've been so busy. It was their Packapalooza 2.0. It was a fantastic time. It was amazing generosity. They were hooking everybody up with packs. The video is up on Flying Dutchman Cards uh, channel. So go check it out there if you have time. Give them both likes and subscribes and all that good stuff. Thank you very much for your time. Be taking care. Do, 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 do. Do-do-do-do-do-do. do 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 do